Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace. I'm very excited. We're gonna do a little movie night tonight and we're gonna watch a classic, a 2000s masterpiece, John Tucker Must Die. I love this movie so much. It's been a couple years since I've watched it actually, but this was a movie that shaped my childhood. This was a movie that said, yes, we are going to support women's rights and we are going to support women's wrongs. <laughs> We're doing all of it today. This movie's so good. I love this movie so much. We've got so many, we've got Brittany Snow, we've got Ashanti, we've got freaking, uh, <laughs> what's her name from Aquamarine? She's a fish! With the like really high squeaky like fish! You know who I'm talking about. Oh my god, this movie also has two scenes in it that um, were a bit of an awakening for me as a young child. Um, <laughs> and if you know what they are before we watch the movie, <laughs> hi, <laughs> you're also queer. Nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> but I remember like being like eight, nine years old when this movie came out and watching that kissing scene in the car and I was that little boy <laughs> who was like whoa kiss her again that was me that was me that boy he was me <laughs> and the other one is obviously when Britney Snow comes out in the red lingerie <laughs> don't look at me I'm embarrassed so we're gonna get right into it and we're just gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the pure 2000s goodness that is John Tucker Must Die. I was in seventh grade when I realized I was invisible. Look at how young she looks, oh my god. Anonymous, A-N-O-N-I-M-O-U-S, anonymous. I'm sorry, that's wrong, W-O-R-N-G wrong. <laughs> Imagine a spelling bee judge spelling the word wrong to you. -E <laughs> there was another thing working. I love Britney Snow with her curly hair. She's so cute. That other thing is my mom. Hi, I'm Lord. Okay, yeah, when your mom's dressed like that. Be careful, you're hot. I mean, they're hot. <laughs> She's never had any trouble landing men. She's just had trouble keeping them. But look. Britney Snow is gorgeous too. I don't, I don't get it. The math isn't mathing. I'm going to be your new buzzer. Maybe we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves now, Skip. Ew. The fact that all of them are like, I'm gonna be your new daddy. Like, get out of here. It's about him. The writing John is so clever in Tucker. this movie. I love it. John Tucker, motherfucker. Captain of the basketball team. His family's loaded. They look somewhere between an Abercrombie model and a Greek god. An Abercrombie model and a Greek god. I mean, 2006, all you can hope to be compared to is an Abercrombie model. I remember the first time I spoke to John Tucker. I was totally in control. Hi. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> what? It's so... Parfait. Il zon Omar grillé. You are so sexy when you speak French. High school French is so hot. <laughs> Why would you walk over right there? You could clearly see, you were watching them, you could clearly see that they're busy. Scratch that. He's got two girlfriends. Wait, is he wearing the same thing? Is he going here three times in one night or three nights in a row? Two green salads, dressing on the side, salmon for her, lobster for me. I love when you do that. Also, does he not remember that that she's his waitress like later on that she like knows his whole game wait I bet it's even hotter off you <laughs> ew if someone ever said that to me let alone in public get out three girlfriends oh no feel i'm sorry let's just go okay he's wearing something different it could be three different nights how do they not know that john's cheating on all of them he's a total operator he goes out with girls from different cliques so that they never actually talk to each other. <laughs> and then he tells them that his father won't let him date during basketball season, so they'll have to keep it a secret. How'd you learn all this stuff? <laughs> I don't know, just yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And the classic, dirty little secret, All American Rejects. As much as I hate John Tucker, as awful of a person he is, kind of an evil genius. If you're committed to being a cheater and being a bad person, like, he's got the formula down. He's not subtle about it in public though, because he's clearly just flirting with everybody. He just smacked her ass straight in public. Not subtle at all. At the party last night, where were you? Well, it's totally on the DL. I mean, not to fit to print. I'm dating John Tucker. I love that it's like in slow motion. John Tucker. Not subtle. Why is it never not funny? The hitting in the head with the volleyball. It's also, the sound effect is so intense and it's so funny. This guy is cheating on all of you and instead of taking it out on him, you're beating the shit out of each other? Language! <laughs> yeah, that's the issue here. Me. Baby boy! I need Pen Badgley! Need I love the long hair. He should bring it back. Ew. It's not uh, usually the reaction he gets from girls. Jerk isn't really my type. Yeah, you're right. He can't have his jerk moments. He's my older brother. Oh. You're the other Tucker? What is that? Is that like the loser Tucker? <laughs> you just don't look... Hot, buff, or capable of inciting an all-girl smackdown? No, you don't look like an asshole. Let you in on a secret, though. My mom... <laughs> my mom... Says I'm special Says on I'm inside. special on the inside. Good for you. <laughs> not good for you. That's not the response. You flirt. You gotta flirt, Kate. Come on. So I talked to John. He said that you were jealous because we share something special. And I just love how secure you are. Because you're the, the only, only girl for me? Damn! He said the same thing to all of us. Okay, let me guess. Does he always use pet names like baby and sweetheart? Yeah, it's not out of affection. It's so he won't mix up your names. This movie is like, hey, girls? Have trust issues. Men are trash. Sorry. No, I didn't say break up. I get even. Yes. We love Kate being a dark horse. Kate, right? Yeah, Kate. How'd they I figure out her name? You know who. Or where she lives. This is the slaughter of animals, but in John Tucker's case, I'll make an exception. Love that. We all want to kill John Tucker. We all want to kill John Tucker. We all support the murder of this man. What is it that attracted you to Kate, John Tucker? I like where you're going with this. Okay, girls, we need to define John. He is a statue wrapped in a painting in a frame made of muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're just hyping up his ego even more. And, and since John's game is that he always has a date, to get even with a guy like that, you make him Undateable. Undateable. What if you just exposed the fact that he's literally cheated on every single girl he's ever dated? Okay, John. The trick is just relax, want to behave naturally, yeah? <laughs> now pout for me, John. Pout! More pout! <laughs> Why are they in the woods? What's happening? Why are they not like in a studio? You're a tree, it's windy, shake your branches. <laughs> You're a tree, it's windy, shake your branches. <laughs> Hey, isn't that you? I do some part-time now modeling. Can I have a sip? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, I, I don't have that. I know. I have it. <laughs> How did that not, like, ruin his reputation? Never underestimate your opponent. I don't personally suffer from an STD. How did he get an award? 
How? So, what are you girls up to? Just drawing a man. Ooh, who do I make my check out to? Love it. Estrogen, Heather. Guys take steroids to get pics. I just want to go up a cup size. I don't think that's how that works. Stops your natural hormone production. Yeah, and when you run out, you're gonna grow a mustache and a penis. Are you serious? I don't think that's how it works either, but <laughs> you definitely should not be taking that if you don't have to. We need him to understand what it feels like to be us. Right. And what's more terrifying to a man than not being manly? I also feel like this is kind of a hate crime. <laughs> like, that's not legal, right? Are you trying to bulk up? Yeah. Coach has me drinking twice a day. Oh. Not working. <laughs> Maybe you should double up doses. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the heads up, man. Get out of here. I mean, look, I'd be impressed too. I hate men. <laughs> Lay off. Sensitive. I wanted to listen to an asshole with a fart. It's an awful thing to say. <laughs> Technical foul, 23, with a push. He started it. He's being mean. He's being mean. He should go in timeout because he's being mean. Oh. <laughs> it's so much. What? Not the balls to the face of this middle-aged man. That man's hairline is receding way too much for him to be in high school. Uh, I'm anxious and bloated. I'm, my nipples hurt. Don't be a pet. <laughs> He's just PMSing. It's always me. We need you, John. Let's go, John. John, John, John. John, John, John. You're always yelling at me. You never listen to me. What about my feelings? It's always where are you, but never how are you. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is the first step though, right? He loses the respect of the dudes. What you did on the court last night was the most courageous thing I've ever seen any man do. This is my peer counseling hotline. Give it a call anytime you want to talk. It's the era of toxic masculinity that backfired on them, okay? I know I wigged out last night. My peer counselor says I need to look into my emotional response. Not the peer counselor! And well, you know there's only one girl for me. But I don't think that girl's you. There's only one girl for me. So Biggest I'm lie. More complex. <sighs> so, we good? Oh, oh. He said, he said they're not deep. He said they're not complex. That deserved a slap. That definitely deserved a slap. Shallow bastard thinks I'm not complex? Yeah, she's the most complex person I've ever seen. I couldn't even enjoy the breakup sex. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a slut. Ow! <laughs> I love her so much. I know what you're thinking. I'm not as pretty as Heather. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not that experienced. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you have. <laughs> she goes, that's true. If we combine all of us, we can make him fall in love with you. I mean, really fall in love, and then we'll yank it all out from under us. This is gonna be so good. Uh, no, it's just not gonna work. Girl, you were all about getting even. You know what? Forget it. You can pull it off anyway. Let's go. I mean, she's like, yeah, no, you're right. I, I couldn't pull it off. That's why I'm saying no. Just tell me what to do. Yeah! <laughs> but yeah, you have three coaches to tell you what to do with everything. We're cool, right? What? <laughs> Who's the new cheerleader? That's Kate. <laughs> she's cute. Oh, it's so good. Not gonna happen. She's not into high school boys. What, she straightened her hair and put on a shirt that shows her like lower back and all of a sudden he forgets that she was literally his waitress multiple times at the same restaurant at the same table hey john tucker hi so <clears throat> you must be new well not new new but new to cheer tell me friday night at dinner Ugh, no. I'm obligated to buy you dinner. School rules. Thank you, but I'm gonna have to pass. 
you busy? Iconic. Or? Sure, I'm busy. Nice to meet you, bye. <laughs> it's like, I just got rejected? I've never been rejected before, what? John Tucker is the definition of, like, spoiled rich white dude. It's such a turn off. It's such a turn off. I hate it. John, there's only one guy out there for me. And it's your brother. <laughs> there's only one guy out there for me, but you are not him. Not the finger snap. Every guy out there that's ever lied to any girl. Put all your daddy issues into this take. Go. John Tucker, there's only one guy out there for me. But you are not him. Yeah. She said, I have daddy issues. I have abandonment issues. So does my mom. Oh, hey. Hey. Do you like the flowers? Uh, yeah, if you're into that sort of thing. Yes. <laughs> I didn't get a phone call. <clears throat> I didn't have a pen. Iconic. Iconic line. I don't have a pen. Hey, Spencer. How you doing? Good, how are you? Not so good. See, I like this girl. How is someone not coming from the other side of him and stealing the ball? John, I understand and respect your emotional needs. <laughs> not the sensitivity training at work. We go out to the beach, watch the sunset. You should come. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. I don't even watch sports. I know that's not allowed. If it'll make him shoot, okay. Hate that. Hate the manipulation. God. I just, I don't understand how you can like someone like that. Let me just stand here and enjoy this. John. The sunset is that way. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just enjoying everyone staring at me in insane jealousy. They wish they were out with a girl like you. It's just, it's the constant, like, moves and lines being thrown that would just give me the ick immediately. Like, really nice bud. And that. I hope she can handle it. The beach, the sunset. At least there's no romantic fire. Ah! What the fire? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so hard to just, oh, I hate it. Scott Tucker deserved better. Do. It's the scene, y'all. Are you a good kisser? I, I don't know. How does anybody know? Do guys tell you you're a good kisser? <laughs> oh my god, I I'm a bad kisser. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, come here. You lock in on him. Grab onto that gorgeous head of hair and take control. Hold his gaze. Your lips might just touch, but not yet. I mean, she's very seductive. Look, eight-year-old me was fully convinced. Holy John Llama. Kiss her again. <laughs> Do it. That was me. <laughs> Walk me to my door. Sure. Ah! Oh. oh no! I always like a little risk. The whisper? That's kind of sexy. Kind of hot. Good on her. <laughs> it's such a 2000s movie moment, you know? They're wet from the sprinklers, they have to have the kiss, and then... <laughs> and then you get this like weird jerky electrocuting thing, it's so good. Mom, there's a lot of things I come to you for advice about, but... This is not one of them. I'm sorry. Maybe it kind of should be, though. Honestly, how many John Tuckers have pulled a hit and run on you? <laughs> not the hit and run. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's savage. Just be careful who you pretend to be. Yeah. I mean, I'd hate if you forgot who you are. Yeah. I was nobody, so there's really no risk in losing anything. Ugh. Such good mom advice. Wasted on a teenager. What, not eating here? Nah, thought we'd do take out. <laughs> oh, is 
anybody else been on the boat? I've never been on the boat. Bro said, I'm gonna pull out daddy's credit card and get a boat? Like, I'm sorry, that's a big boat. Okay, if I could dream of how a date should be. What did she just throw into the water? It looked like a shoe. I mean, no, 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 don't get me wrong. It's, it's really nice, but are you really that scared to just hang out and be yourself? Yes. The most popular uh, guy in school. Right, right, yeah. right, yeah, um, I guess. No, I'm just lucky. Okay. I'm really lucky. Okay. Recognizing yeah, I mean, the privilege. I'd be crazy not to make the most of it. I understand that he's, yeah, he's putting it in a easy way to digest. Just gotta put my whole heart into things. It sounds like an easy way to get it broken. Oh. Luckily, I figured out a way to protect myself against that. Mmm. As much as I want to say, like, Kate, what are you doing kind of a thing, I also get it, you know? Because he's finally being real and he's cutting down on all of those, like, cheesy moves. I still don't like him as much as I like his brother. But I can't say in full confidence that if I were in the situation, I wouldn't have fallen for it too. Because as much as I would like to say I wouldn't, it's a boat with like twinkly little lights on it and they danced and I'm a sucker for that Nicholas Spark shit. Nah, I think I'm just gonna hang out with Kate tonight. Oh, come on, so I gotta take care of all that Central Hotel by myself? Yes, so. Oh, come on, man, we gonna get us some girls or you gonna act like one? <laughs> it's the toxic masculinity for me. Please, please tell me you tapped that by me. Yeah! Yeah! Voice. Voice. You don't just pop an 82 Bordeaux because it's on your shelf. Oh. How would you know? You're in high school. You don't know shit about wine. Okay, John Tucker is not wit. Oh, here we go. Let's just say at tonight's away game, I'm gonna be scoring more than baskets. Bingo. Okay, okay, uncork her, then pork her. Now that's my man. Slam well, dunk, baby. <laughs> uncork her and pork her. Slam dunk. Trash. Men are trash. Hate it. Now the real game begins. Are you sure we're not going too far? You know what happens when you let your guard down around John Tucker? Carrie, show her. You need to see this. It's true. She absolutely needs to see this. Because, like, if any guy that you're talking to talks about you like this behind your back, get the fuck out. Make that man wear a thong and climb a balcony and scale a balcony for you. Because, like, trash. Yeah. You? Yeah. It's so sad because I'm I'm so lovely. <laughs> Lonely. Coach Williams is out in the hall. She's totally watching. There's no way you could get in here. Damn it. Unless you went out on the ledge and came in through the sliding door. The power. The power she Too holds. Bad. I got all it's dressed iconic. up. Or down. Yeah. Iconic. I, I could. I love it. Balcony. Great. And three rooms down. <sighs> I already counted. I got you a present. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's under your bed. A preview. Uh, no, n I want you to wear that. The power. The power you hold over a man. To get him to wear. Nothing but a thong and scale a balcony for you. It's everything. I thought that you might do this one little thing for me and then I might do a little something for you. But, you know what? I am tired. I. Wait. She's iconic. Give me five minutes. Okay. And the little. Okay. She knows what she's doing. Like, did you not notice that all the lights are off and there's only one bed and all of the students like have roommates? <laughs> I think this belongs to you, coach. I found it in my bed. Coach. Not in. Let go. <sighs> <sighs> 
Ladies. Back to your rooms. Iconic. Not the tearaway pants. Not John Tucker having a whale tail. I can't. It's like letting your best friend sleep in a silk hammock. Ew. Ew. If any man ever refers to his dick as his best friend, run. Get out of there. No. Get out of there. <laughs> This is what they don't want you to know. Everyone in the NBA is just wearing a thong. Where's the trampoline? You, you, you like how they're not showing the floor because they're all jumping on a trampoline? I was humiliated trying to get your attention. And I'm not working this hard just so I can get some action. So really? Like just some 82 Bordeaux you want to uncork and work? I mean, I put on your underwear and I scaled a building. Not her looking so satisfied with herself. Something to show you. And whoever wants to know that I'm whipped. He didn't even ask. Oh wait, he's about to. He does. Never mind. Will you be my girlfriend? But she doesn't answer. Kill time. Bam. Happy birthday, little Tucker. <sighs> Heather's pissed. And then we made you the one. And this is how you repay us? So the little so. monster you created destroys John Tucker, and then what? This watch belongs to me. Oh. I am the head cheerleader. He's the team captain. It's so bad. He deserves the best, okay? He obviously de He does not deserve the best. He deserves nothing. He deserves none of you. You're not against John. You are not with us. Okay, they're all against John, but they all still want to be with John even though they know he's trash. It's a nice watch. Mm. That's what someone looks like. What happened to you? you? You were so different, and now you're like the rest of them. You fell for my brother. No, I, uh. I didn't. No, it's, it's not like that. I mean, it's- It's something you cooked up with those three. He liked you because you weren't like other girls, Kate. Yeah, and a good lord, you- Imagine if she just didn't show no, up. Pal, let's cut this cake. <laughs> I mean, that would have hurt more. Than the video, right? <laughs> how old is he supposed to be? How how did they get strippers? We made it. Come on, you wish me a happy birthday. John, that's not why I'm here. What did everyone think was gonna happen? You go to his birthday party to break up with him? That went. How did they get footage from the boat? How did they get footage? from this moment. Carrie was not around during that moment. There's only one guy out there for me. But you are not. What's happening? The entire time I've been pretending to be a bunch of stuff that I'm not. So you would fall for me. <laughs> They're like, into the mic! You girls pulled it off. Yeah. It worked. I don't feel bad for him. Sorry, I don't. I've been lying about who I am, but I'm done pretending. This is the real me. Hey, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do such a good job at like taking the tropes of these like 2000s movies of like, I'm trying to have this big moment of personal growth and then they like shit on it and that's why this movie is so good. Should be throwing drinks at each other, yeah. not her. <laughs> I pretend I'm whenever I need to to get girls. And it works, dude. <laughs> You're the man. No, I'm not saying it's a good thing. It's a great thing. There ain't nothing wrong with hooking up with the finest girls in the school. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. And there goes all the growth out the window. So it took us 12 bottles of shampoo and three days to get the stripper cake out of our hair. But you know what? It was all worth it. Kate, hey, Kate. Hey, um, uh, one sec. And what, all is forgiven now, Scott? I mean, I'm happy because I want them together, but I just feel like she needs to work harder to get him back. You're perfect, good. Nah. Totally have a crush on the other. Tucker. She'll definitely need help with this one. I just upgraded my boot cam. We can do a full frontal attack. No. 
What are they trying to do? And John Tucker, we definitely got to him. He never lied to a girl again. They're beautiful. Now we need to go into this with our eyes open. Complete honesty. Jennifer, this is Jill, my other girlfriend. I think we can make this work. <laughs> there was so much potential growth happening for him in the beginning of the movie, or like throughout, in the middle of the movie. You know, like when they're on their boat, that's like, that's when you get the most potential growth kind of opportunity. And then it just, it all goes down the drain by the end of the movie, because he's like, no, nah, you know what? I should be a dick. I should do this. This is good, this is, yeah, this is what I should be doing. And honestly, it's just, it's such a good movie. It's such a good movie, it's so much fun. Like, it really is just like true 2000s, like, revenge comedy perfection. It's such a good movie, it's a classic, it just, it never gets old. I can watch this movie, and I will watch this movie, like, for the rest of my life, and it's always a fun time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching John Tucker Must Die. One of my faves, honestly. Such a great movie, such an iconic movie. I hope you guys had fun, I had fun. Thanks for hanging out with me and having a little movie night together. If you guys liked the video, you can like it down below. You can also subscribe and stick around. We watch movies and TV shows here all the time together. So tag along, join me on this journey of watching some classics and discovering something new. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.